First, caught on tape, how insurance fraud cases are clogging our courts. Then, the painful memory and lawsuit that changed John's life. Plus, warning, the worst caution labels ever. Tonight, it's a must-see edition of Stossel. Welcome back, everybody. President Obama says the administration will stop deporting hundreds of thousands of illegal immigrants who came to the U.S. as young children and, gave, and give them work permits. It's not a permanent fix. This is a temporary stopgap measure that lets us focus our resources wisely while giving a degree of relief and hope to talented, driven, patriotic young people. So that plan would offer up to 800,000 illegal immigrants immunity, and now some lawmakers are outraged over the president's congressional bypass. Is this an election ploy? Joining us now to weigh in is Arizona Congressman David Schweikert. Congressman, thanks for getting up so early with us. No, it's my idea of fun, Allie. Okay, so... <laughs> So you're just still up. You have a warped yeah. view yeah. of fun. I've, I've just given up that thing called sleep. <laughs> okay, right. Overrated. But let's get to the point. Um, okay, so let's assume that this is political. What bothers you most about what the president did yesterday? Yeah, uh, look, assuming this is political is the easy part. This is cynical and political. But if you even take one step backwards to the mechanics, um, the bypassing of Congress, um, do you realize this isn't even an executive order? Somehow, magically, the president sprinkled some magic fairy dust on uh, Homeland Security, and they just reinterpreted the law, or at least their willingness not to enforce it. Um, this is incredibly cynical. Now, I, I understand the attack of the process because, in fact, the president had two years where he had the majority in the House and the Senate. He could have done it through legislation. There are some concerns voiced by Jan Brewer, the governor of Arizona, that it could hurt the economy. It could uh, you know, cost local jobs because there's 800,000 people now competing with 14 million out-of-work Americans. How concerned are you about that aspect oh, of the oh, plan? The, the, ec the economic side is absolutely one of the things we're fixated on. But it's, it's even beyond that. Okay, did you just add 800,000 more job seekers into the first tier of employment, you know, young people, but also did you create a cascade of unintended consequences? What if you're 31 years old and are, now are you running around trying to find um, uh, documents? Are you trying to find stolen documents? How about if you were dropped out of high school but you're talented you d aren't eligible. The unintended consequences here, this just isn't well thought out, and it's just so blatantly political. But, but and for those of us... I mean, on, no, the go ahead. on the flip side, this is a thorny issue that has bedeviled presidents from Ronald Reagan to George W. Bush, now President Obama. Didn't somebody have to do something? Is this not a start? Uh, no, this isn't the way you start something, because think about what they've done. They've created sort of this loophole. We're going to look the other way. We're going to, if you make an application, we'll give you a job, you know, visa, a work visa. But two years later, it all blows up again. So one more time, this administration did something very cynical, very political, and then kicked the can down the road for two years. There are some concerns, Congressman, that it could, at least in the short term, lead to an, an enormous wave of illegals coming over the border that see an opportunity here. How concerned are you about the impact down the road the next couple of years? Well, and, and this is not hyperbole. Look, I'm in Arizona. Every year we lose lives of people coming across the desert um, in our summer. Did the president just scream out, run for the border? Um, it, 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 that's a legitimate concern. And I've actually spoken to some law enforcement who are very worried that we just created an incentive for more people to try to cross our desert in this middle of the summer. Uh, Congressman David Troy, Kurt from Arizona, uh, you certainly know immigration issues there. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Thank you all. Thank you. And we should add the Supreme Court expected to rule soon on the Arizona immigration plan. So that will be interesting to see how this thing moves along. Coming up, though, it's all work and no pay. Some small business owners forced to go without a paycheck just to stay afloat. Up next, we'll see just how fine the private sector is. And is this really the example parents want to be setting for their preschoolers? A bunch of moms getting into a brawl?